I'm so glad to finally introduce you to our new half teacher, Carrie. Hi. <laughs> my name is Carrie Tollett, and I am based in the United States with my husband, Zach. We just moved to Arlington, Virginia, and I'm so thrilled to be joining the Learning the Harp team. Today, we're going to be hearing some of Carrie's story and how that led up to her joining us here at Learning the Harp. Some of these things I've already heard, but some of it's going to be new for me. So this is exciting. Carrie, why don't you start by telling us how did you first know that you wanted to learn to play the harp? Sure. So it all started back when I was in third grade when I was eight years old. And uh, when I was in elementary school, my music teacher was a harpist and she decided to start this program for third graders and up to be able to learn how to play the harp. And so I came home to my parents one day and told them I'm going to learn how to play the harp. <laughs> and I'd taken some previous piano lessons, but was never like a huge fan of it, didn't practice much. But um, once I played the harp for the first time, I was just hooked on it. I just, it, I was so drawn to it. And I think just feeling the, the fact that it's just like a full body instrument, feeling the vibrations, the way my fingers felt on the strings, I was just so drawn to this instrument and just loved playing it. Um, and so from then on, I was really just hooked and enamored with the instrument. And I took lessons throughout um, elementary school, all the way through high school and um, just decided to continue with it in college. I didn't know what else I wanted to study in college, but I knew that I loved playing the harp. And so I was like, well, this feels right. I'm just gonna go ahead and study it in college. Um, and so I earned my bachelor's degree in harp performance at Indiana University. And then I went on to study um, to get my master's degree in harp performance at the University, university of North Texas. And so um, from then on out, I have been teaching and, um, just enjoying um, all that comes with playing the harp and making music, playing for weddings and things like that. And I saw that Learning the Harp had posted um, a job advertisement that they were hiring. And um, I decided to look into a little more and saw that it just seemed like the perfect position, something um, that just seemed like a perfect fit. The fact that I'd be able to join this amazing online community of harpists from all over the world um, with people who are interested in learning the harp at various stages of their lives. And um, I was just very drawn to that. And I told my husband that it seemed like a perfect fit and he was like, he just completely agreed. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how we got to where I am today. And I'm just so really excited to be joining the team. Oh, so glad to have you here. So I want to um, take you back a little bit in your journey of learning to play the harp because I know you've told me before that it wasn't always easy for you. So you learned from when you were a child, but that doesn't mean that it was always just smooth sailing and you loved the harp and everything went perfectly. There was some tough times along the way. So tell us a little bit about that because I know some of our people have had or are having tough times with their harps and it'll be nice to know that it hasn't always been easy for you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the harp is an extremely complex instrument. Like it takes years to feel comfortable with it, even like no matter how much you enjoy playing it. And so I think the first hurdle for me was that I actually did not learn how to read music until I was like 13 or 14. Like in the later years of middle school is when I finally just put my head down and was like, I'm not gonna be able to progress unless I learn how to read music. And it was a really difficult time because from um, before that I had really just learned by ear. And so um, once my music started to get gradually more difficult, obviously it became a lot more difficult to be able to learn the music and it took much longer. And there was a point where I was like, I don't even know if I wanna continue anymore. Like, I just don't feel like I'm adequate. Like if I can't read music, how am I gonna be able to continue on? Um, but like anything, practice makes perfect. And it's really just like learning a new language, which I'm sure we've all had that experience of, um, you know, just kind of having to work at something. Um, and so, yeah, eventually I was able to get to a point where I felt really comfortable with reading music. Um, and then another hurdle was um, my technique. I did not really develop a solid technique until high school. It wasn't really something my first teacher, while well, she was a wonderful teacher, the technique side of part playing wasn't really the main focus in our lessons. And so I actually developed a lot of arm pain as the music got more difficult. Um, and it really kind of inhibited my playing 
And so once I got to high school, I started studying with a new teacher and she really just transformed my playing. And we went kind of back to the basics of part playing. And she just kind of laid a strong foundation of technique that then carried me into college and um, where I continued to develop that technique. So I think those for sure were like the two biggest hurdles I faced early on. Mm. Um, and then in college, actually high school and um, college, performance anxiety, it was a major hurdle for me. And it still is like, it's something I'm still working through. I don't know if I'll ever be completely comfortable with performing, <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, those are really those are really relatable things. I know there's a lot of people in our community who have struggled with those exact same three things. So you're going to have a lot of people in the comments saying, oh my goodness, she understands. <laughs> yeah, because it's not just all easy for those of us who are harp teachers. <laughs> Let's come back to the teaching side of things. So I know you've taught students at middle school and high school and some private students as well. And I'd love to hear about your approach to teaching and what you've learned along the way as a teacher. Yeah, so I think one thing I've learned is that there's not a one size fits all approach when it comes to teaching, because every student is different. We all have different hands, which of course makes a big difference when we're playing the harp. And so I think it's really important to understand that everyone has different goals for the harp and, you know, different things that they plan to do with their music. And so um, just being very open to where people are on their journeys and not expecting one solution to work for everyone. So um, that's really my hope is that I can cater to a lot of different people at different stages in their heart journey and do what works best for them. So, yeah. You told me a while ago about the one adult student you had had where you started out with a teaching approach that you were kind of more used to from children and then that changed along the way. Um, tell us about that. Yes. Yeah, so with that student, I had just come out of a lot of pedagogy classes of teach, of learning how to teach people how to play the harp. And so my focus was making sure that her technique was just impeccable, that she would just have a super strong foundation. But that's actually wasn't exactly what she needed. She just wanted to learn how to play the harp really for fun, not to become, you know, a famous classical soloist. She just wanted to um, get the basics of what she needed to know to allow her to enjoy playing the harp. And so I think that really um, taught me that I have to be aware of where people want to take the harp and that um, you can be more relaxed on certain issues of technique. There are some fundamental things that are really important in order to be super relaxed when playing the harp and to get the best sound. Um, but it doesn't have to be super strict for everyone. So that was probably the biggest thing I learned with her <laughs> that kind of helped me have a more relaxed teaching approach. Yeah, because we want to do the best that we can for our students, um, but also the best that we can might look a little different depending on what people's goals are. And at here at Learning the Harp, when we're doing video courses, we're making a course that is for so many different people who are watching it, most of them adults, and most of them wanting to learn to play for fun. So we've got to get that balance of trying to make sure that we're not holding ourselves back with our technique and we're getting a solid foundation, but that also we're able to keep moving forwards, learning things we want to play and having fun with it. And being able to just play beautiful music for the joy of it is also a really important goal. Absolutely, yeah. So what are you most excited about with coming to join us at Learning the Harp? Yeah, well, I'm just so excited to be joining such a dynamic team at Learning the Harp and working with such lovely, fun people. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know um, all the students and um, just getting to join this wonderful community and um, help teach you all how to continue in your harp journey and just expand this wonderful online network that Learning the Harp has of teaching people how to play the harp. Yay! We're so happy to have you with us. <laughs> so now I want to ask you, is there anything more you want to know about Carrie? If there's enough questions down in the comments, maybe we'll make a Q&A video. See you soon!